I'm Kemlin Foley, the uh, UNHCR representative, and I'm standing here at the Nguri Bridge, which has been closed for many months. Um, it's the bridge that's the main passageway between Abkhazia and uh, this part of Western Georgia. And the closure for so many months, basically due to COVID, uh, has meant that many people from Eastern Abkhazia who uh, can access, should access pensions and different benefits, disability benefits, for example, IDP allowances, they haven't been able to come for all these months, so they've been completely without cash for a long time. We came up with the idea of this humanitarian corridor uh, because of the long, long closure and to ensure that, as a priority, pensioners could come out and uh, access their pensions. When the pensioners come here, they first of all go to the mobile bank. Then, when they have money, they're able to go to the mobile pharmacy and buy uh, medicines, which are cheaper on this side than in Dali. After that, they're picked up by the buses uh, again and uh, taken back to their villages or to Gali town. Which is I think the one of the biggest part of this corridor is communication like this lady who is just you know who wants this positive communication with somebody because mm. she she is missing this communication over there. They are isolated. They are many of them live alone. So, yeah, I think that this is very important. Even when we joke with them, they are so happy about that. Um, I am Nino. I work for UNHCR in Tbilisi. I was born in Sukhumi, which is not far away from here. And now I'm here as a UNHCR employee and meeting other grandmothers and grandfathers who need help and they wish there were people like us when my grandmother was crossing the bridge to support her. We've seen fantastic cooperation and support for the humanitarian corridor on both sides and uh, we've worked with um, the, the authorities on both sides to, uh, to make this happen. Uh, they've been very keen to solve problems, um, both logistical, individual problems and this is now week eight. We really hope that every pensioner that still needs to, to get their pensions will manage to do so before the end of the year. That's our goal.